was 16 when she had me. The father figure that I was looking for, you know, was never there, ever. Your mom raised you pretty much by herself. Was a teenage mother, unmarried. First of all, do you know your biological father's whereabouts? No, not really. But, uh, you know, I'm not really even concentrating on that because I have, I really have my father and my mother all tied up in one. And that's Gloria James. I don't, you know, at this point, I don't really need nobody else. The only thing that didn't help cause me kept growing every so often, you know, and she had to keep throwing clothes away and go buying new ones. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> so I just bought clothes bigger to begin with. <laughs> just roll them up and throw a few cuffs in them. Give them time to grow into them. It was constantly on the move for us. From five years old to eight, we probably moved 10, 12 times, three years, four or five schools. We didn't have any definite place to reside at. We didn't know if we was gonna have somewhere to sleep the following night. The hardest thing for me was to meet new friends, going to new schools all the time, and you know, finally get comfortable with a group of friends at one school and then having to leave. He didn't have a normal childhood. I mean, hell, he didn't live in some of the worst projects in town. I mean, you definitely see things that, as a young age that you, you don't never want your kids to see. You know, violence and drug abuse and police sirens. It, it didn't matter where we were. Being with my mother, only thing that mattered. I believe we became even closer than the normal parent-child relationship due to our circumstances and enduring them together, going through them together. I never complain, never. We're already going through tough times. It doesn't make it any better if I'm complaining. My mother said it was time to go. Packed my little book bag and it was time to roll. I remember my mother sent me down and, and basically telling me because of certain situations that she may be gone for a little while, that I was gonna be living with one of my coaches it was a challenge. That's all I cared about when I was growing up. If I was going to be able to wake up and my mother was still uh, alive or still by my side. That was because I was already <laughs> without a father, you know, and I didn't want to be without both of my parents, you know, so uh, it was definitely scary and tough. The thing that I had on the court that I didn't have off the court was security because every day we went to the gym, I knew I'm gonna get picked or we're gonna win basketball games or we're gonna win pickup games. I've always said it's home away from home for me. Anybody that's close to LeBron knows that basketball court becomes a sanctuary. He blocks everything out, every bad situation or whatever. When he's on that court, that's when he's actually at peace, not ease. Gradually, my mother found a place. <laughs> I had a place to sleep, and I knew we weren't going anywhere. Anybody home? Nah, I fooled you. <laughs> so this is this is where I end up moving to. I'm moving to this room, and if you could just imagine just photos of all the NBA superstars that was all over these walls. This whole wall was Michael Jordan pictures. From like right here was all Allen Iverson was right here. This was Kobe Bryant's wall right here, from like right here over. And then everybody else, I kind of just, kind of just filled in. It was, it's crazy to see that they got uh, everything out of here. I put staples all in the walls and tape, duct tape all over the walls. So it's kind of funny to see that it's all gone now. It was home. It was funny to see that everybody wanted to be here. You know, everybody wanted to come. To, <laughs> I mean, why have, here? You wouldn't have thought that. I mean, all my friends got houses. Well, all my friends got houses. Yeah, all my friends got houses, <laughs> but, you know, you look outside, all, you know, their parents dropping them off here. Right here. Didn't even have time to lock the damn door. Just leave it unlocked. <laughs> Just leave the door open. Because <laughs> yeah. they was coming. Due to the circumstances he was had to grow up in, moving, no stability with friendships. His relationship with Sheon, Drew, Rome, Willie is as important as his relationship with me. There's one thing about Bron, he loves people around him. 
never liked being by himself. And when he found us, he found homes, he found father figures, he found one of the greatest things to happen to him, friendships. Once I had that security, finally, with friends, you know, I automatically, like, these are the guys I'm going to be with. No matter what happens, these are the guys I'm going to be loyal to more than anybody. These are, you know, my brothers. These are my four best friends. They grew up in basketball together. So the love that they shared for the game was because of one another. St. Vincent, St. Mary, today begin